So today we're in, uh, in Liverpool and I think we're just going to stick to the docks but I've got a roll of Port 400 to put through so I might try and get through all 36 exposures. The light's pretty harsh but it's casting some nice shadows and reflections so yeah, let's have a little, little mooch around the docks and see, see what we can come up with. It does look nice. Maybe I'll take a dip. I'm trying to practice a little bit the, the sunny 16 rule. probably noticed it a lot in, in the last few videos but I like to look for little frames. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, it's nearly 30 degrees already. In England, that's hot, it's too hot. We're not made for it. Guy just sunning himself on there while the chaos is happening around him. So for this one, what I've done is I've opened my iris up a little bit more, meaning that I can use a quicker shutter speed and try and catch like the splashes of the water and the action in motion. So you've always got to compensate one for the other um, and prioritise sort of what what it is that you want. Do you want the aperture and the bokeh, or do you want to capture something quickly? It's fun shooting on primes, I really like it. Obviously, this is my first film camera and I did what you do when you get any new camera system. First lens I think that you should buy, especially for street photography, is a 50mm. You can't really go wrong, I think. 50mm followed by like a 35 or a 28 and then step up to 85 and maybe go on to like a zoom then. But I think for street photography, I prefer to not use a zoom with film anyway. Uh, just because I think it, you know, you, you have to work for the shot a little bit more and uh, it just sort of works better. Having said that, in this scenario, we've got the really cool Beatles tour bus boat coming across and I do really wish that I had something that could just get in there a little bit more, but we'll see if we can get it. quite cool, something you see on the docks in Liverpool, pretty much the whole thing is lined up with the padlocks that people have written messages on. Some of them are a little bit more romantic than others. You've got a pure gym padlock. Every girl's dream. Same thing with film instead of digital is like then I'm just taking a look at something that I thought might look cool but when it came down to it I think it'd just be a waste of a shot and I don't know if you're from Yorkshire and you're tight like me it's like 45p photo 
and then you've got to get it developed. So. So that's the first first roll done. Um, I was only planning on shooting one roll, and uh, to be honest, I didn't really know if there was going to be that much to shoot. Like, I've been to the docks a few times, and it's, it's a nice place to visit, and there's lots going on, but I, I didn't really know if there's anything that's going to start capturing my eye. But yeah, it's just 36 shots down, so we've only really covered half of it. It's getting hot though, and we're getting hungry, so we might call it soon, but I'll carry on for now. Put another roll in. This is actually a normal sized chair. Yeah, I'm just really small. So that's a wrap on uh, the docks in Liverpool, so I think it went really well. We actually ended up shooting two rolls of Porsche 400, um, 36 exposure rolls. So we've got quite a lot from today and uh, we literally just stayed on the docks. So there's plenty more to shoot in Liverpool next time we're back. So thanks for watching again and uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>